Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to discuss with you a topic of great importance to my life and anyone who is waking up and becoming a more conscious human being. That topic is um, gratitude. I quickly went over that after my ayahuasca ceremony, but it's been a couple more days now and few things have settled in. A lot more focus has been brought to my attention and I wanted to share with you what it's really about to be grateful and to live in a state of awareness where gratitude is constantly being a big factor in your life. Uh, in my life, I personally am grateful for literally every single thing. I go to bed every night and I say thank you to just the basic things that happen during the day. You know, simple things like taking a shower, being able to have breakfast or, you know, have clean water available to us. Those are really simple things, yet it's so not available to so many millions of people in the world. So expressing gratitude for that is very, very important. Also, I would like to bring to your attention the idea of Thanksgiving and, you know, how there's this toast that's being given of what are we thankful for this year? But why is it only once a year? Can we do Thanksgiving ceremonies every day? Take a notebook and write things out. What are you thankful for? I personally do this. I have my own little notebook here and I write my own things that I'm grateful for. There's actually a study that's been done. People that practice gratitude live better lives. They live happier and healthier lives because if you don't know this yet, but your thought patterns affects your whole being from your physical to your emotional to your mental state of being, how you think is going to affect everything else. So if you change your state of mind from always thinking negative and not being appreciative to an opposite and just saying thank you for the little things and being grateful and becoming more aware your life is going to change and I can promise you that a hundred percent because I'm a pure example of this and I know it works. I know that's how things just happen. I also want to invite you to be more joyful in life for the little things, little things like having breakfast or maybe someone cooked breakfast for you and noticing how good it tastes and saying thankful for that. Or maybe someone opened the door for you. Or maybe someone just did little things that you usually wouldn't appreciate, but, you know, now take a notice. Take a look at that. You know, at the ayahuasca ceremony, there was many helpers, and I did not ask for them to help us out, but they walk around and they help without being asked, and it's just really beautiful, and I notice it, and I say thank you in my head. Also, I wanted to see if maybe you would be interested in taking it a little further and doing a little ritual, a thank you ritual. Do a journal write-up. Do a journal letter to yourself and say, what are you thankful for? Also, it's really, really good to write letters to other people in your life. You know, for me, my family is really, really important. I only have my mom and my grandma, so it's a very small family. You know, three generation of women. It's a lot of energy is happening here. But I do like to just say thank you to my mom randomly. You know, sometimes I'll text her and say, hey, thank you. And it's usually like late at night. So she'll wake up in the morning reading a text message. And I know she'll be really happy to read that. Because I feel like for a lot of parents, they feel underappreciated because we don't express enough our thankfulness to them. A lot of us really do appreciate our parents and all the work that they do for us, but we don't express it enough. So learn to speak and speak up and say thank you. Thank you for doing the little things for me or the big things. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Just practice gratitude for everything. Also, being grateful for having things like hearing and seeing and being able to speak. Those are really big. But if you ever stay in a point where you just imagine of not having that, and then just think for a second, okay, what if I could not hear right now? And then bring yourself back to awareness where you have hearing and experience the gratitude of having that sense available to you. Because once again, realize there are people who don't have that. There are mean, like many, many people who are sick, who can't see, who can't hear, who can't talk. So having everything available to you that is so basic and common is such a big gift to those who don't have it available. So just take a moment to really pay attention to things like that. Also, I just wrote little notes here. Don't wait to get what you want to be thankful for things. You know, a lot of people are really spoiled in this world and they expect. 
And I hate this concept of expectation because I personally been seeing people expecting things from others, such as being in relationship. Let's say you in relationship and your boyfriend expects for you to cook. He expects for you to clean and do laundry. Oh, because you're a woman, that's what you do. No, get the hell out of here. That's not what I do. I will do it because I want to and I love you and I want to do it for us. But be grateful for those things. And that's what happens in relationships when people become ungrateful. Relationships fall apart because if one of the parties feels ungrateful, well, guess what? It's just down the hill from there on. So if you are with a partner and he or she is doing something for you that you take for granted, even like taking the trash out or washing dishes, come give them a hug. Give them a kiss. Say thank you. Because guess what? They don't have to do it. They don't have to. It's just simply that. So gratitude, once again, practice that on a daily basis. I've been becoming more aware about just everything around me and people around me and, and constant just emotional gratitude. Walking around like this happy beaming individual just experiencing just these high vibration of gratitude because gratitude is one of the highest emotional vibrations that we can experience next to love. So just imagine like living in love and in gratitude all together and you're just like up here vibrating super, super high and just energy is super, super good. Like that feels amazing. Why would you not want to be here? You know, why not? And it's just so simple. Just every day I welcome you to take notice, to pay attention and be aware around you, to people around you, to what you have in your life available to you and just be thankful. And be thankful for you because you're amazing. Like, look at you. You have so much going for you and you have accomplished so much and there's still so much to go. You know, I'm really young and at this point in my life, I feel like everything's like falling apart, yet it's kind of climbing all together. It's just a weird oxymoron which I'm trying to deal with. But I'm really grateful for me and where I am right now because learning to enjoy right here, right now, what you have available to you in this very moment is the key, is the key living in the now. You know, there's a book in my house here, it's called Power of Now. If you haven't read it, I invite you to do that because it's really important to be able to take away our focus from the negativity and things that we don't have and focus on what we do have. So just wanted to say thank you for that and also say hi to my little bunny here. This is Jacob, he's not mine, but he's my friend and he's really, really loving. And, you know, I like to just say thank you to him for his being here, you know, his experience here as a bunny bonding with me, just a lot of gratitude. And he's like the coolest bunny ever. He's just always chilling and giving me cuddles. So thank you for you. I love you. Love you. Mwah. Really, really, really like loving to have his presence around because animals are so simple. You know, they don't need much, but they are dependent on us for love and support and food. And, you know, I know he is really grateful. Like, I can feel in his energy whenever he gets a treat. He gets super excited. So, you know, you know, live a little simpler. You know, just realize that there is so much beauty in this world and we are given so much to be really, really thankful in our life and just, you know, pay attention to those things and you'll see how your life will start to change. So hopefully this message is going to help some of you to start becoming more aware and more grateful in your life. And thank you once again for being here with me tonight. Till next time. Bye.